hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and this video i'm going to share one of my trick that i'm going to use frequently when i'm developing apps with qt designer and pycharm so if you follow my channel i previously created a lot of videos with python and qt to create how you can create some applications using qt designer and then uh, convert into Python and then create some awesome interfaces not even the standalone desktop tool but also how you can create tools for Maya and other 3d packages so if you follow my all videos there I use one external tool inside PyCharm IDE and that is actually to convert my Qt files in py to py files python file okay so qt basically save a dot ui file and our job is to convert that to py so our python program can easily read that okay so one is the qt if you are not familiar with qt and python you can follow and check out my videos here i have already uploaded a lot of videos there and if you don't know about uh, ide pycharm ide then you can also follow the pycharm id tutorial which is here best id for pycharm and also i will give you the link in the description of this video okay so let's start so right now uh, i have my app here is a some my test demo app which i'm working on right now is basically if i open this you can see this interface and this is for batch conversion if you have a lot of video files and that you want to convert to some other that time you can use this so that's kind of a media lab pro i'm using ffmpeg in the back end and you can also uh, capture the video uh, for like you can capture your own video or you can record your screen and also you can use something like streaming so this is the basic idea that we start with and i created a interface here as you can see this is the interface but since you can see that this interface is not final i need I'm, i need to keep added things here for example the streaming tab is still empty so i don't have anything here now i want to add things here what i'm using is i go to qt designer and inside that I can come inside the streaming tab and I can start adding my stuff there so for example let me just create a frame inside and after that let me just create a tree widget and also let me just create a list widget and let me just populate with some items okay let's add some items there okay let's just keep it like that or maybe we can just put one label also so we can just see that we added something here okay so this is my vfx pipeline okay so we made all these changes here right now if you want to just preview this so we can press ctrl r and ctrl r will show this preview here okay so this is fine now we want to save this so we can just save this ui file so this ui file is basically inside my gui folder and here i can see main.ui so this main.ui is that file that we just saved so now if i run my app if i go to the streaming tab i will see nothing so a traditional method is you need to convert your file with uh, pyuic and then you need to find base pyuic and then I mean uh, put your uh, argument in, inside the argument put the UI file and then pass the output file I mean there's a lot of things that you have to do either you have to create a batch file for that to do this for you every time but now in my case what I have to do I have to select my UI file and I need to press one key which is shift C and then if I run my app now if I go to streaming see my changes are here just clicking on my hotkey shift C my file is actually converted and this is what I want to explain you I mean show you the method that how I get this so if you want to do this kind of stuff inside your ID your PyCharm ID then what you have to do you have to go inside file 
settings inside settings you need to go inside tools and once you click on tools you see here external tools so you click on external tools so here you need to create the new one so and then you need to give the you know the name of your tool so for example let's say p y u i c so p y p y u i c so that is actually if you want to you can name whatever you want you can put some description also there then you need to provide the program one time so maybe you can just select and just go to the location where your PySide is installed so in my case it's installed in my virtual environment and if you don't know about virtual environment go and check my previous video it's very interesting so now virtual environment and in that go to scripts folder not inside packages go inside scripts folder and there you will see two exes basically one is PySite 2 RCC and one is PySite 2 UIC RCC is required to convert the icon files, icon QRC files to Python file that is readable inside Python. So that is actually the resource compiler. And PySite 2 to UIC is actually convert the UI files to Python. So here I will select UIC and hit OK. So in my case, this is the location. In your case, maybe you install inside your system level the PySci2, then you can just put the path of your C program files and blah, 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 whatever. Okay. Now, this is the interesting part is here, arguments. So, this arguments is like always after this program, what argument you provide. So, basically, we provide first thing is the name of the file, which is main.ui. So, let's just insert a macro. And here we need just the name of this file so if you want to name of this file what we can we have a lot of options here so we can select file name and also it will preview these macros so here you can see that display log dot py and if we just want to get the extension then we can use file extension or file encoding or file directory name or file directory so it's like there is already predefined variables are here all we need to put is select file name for now in our case and then put one space then dash o okay then insert again a macro and then we don't need file name because the extension is the one which we want to change okay so here we want file name without extension so whatever is our file name just take that but without extension and hit enter then after that you put py that's it also after that you need to change the working directory because right now it's going inside v environment scripts so i want whenever i execute this it should always go with this parent directory the executable directory so go insert and then you can just put file there so file there is good enough for that so with that i can create our macro here this is pyuic hit ok now let's go back to our UI file and in that UI let me just go inside streaming and let me just create two more okay let me hit save come here and then you select your UI file right click you can see in external tool now there is three options there PYUIC is the one which we recently created and shift C this build UI is my previous one I will also show you how you can map a key with this so first let's just execute make sure our command should convert this properly so if I run this there is no error and now run our app so if I run our app we see that we have four instances but we duplicated that now our last task is actually create a key map so go file settings and in that settings there is a second option here key map just select key map and here you can see the external tool come here open this and then you created this pyuic so this one maybe you can create uh, something like uh, control uh, maybe give some some uh, unique uh, key because if you put something like control a 
you can't you can't give control a because that is for selection and control z also cannot so maybe control shift z no that also cannot so shift d so let me just give a proper key for this which is uh, maybe add keyboard shortcut and then let's say let's shift a so shift a or whatever you want to give and hit ok so this is the key mapped with this now let's just try again with shift a let me just go inside my qt let me just clear this so we don't have match there we just keep the vfx pipeline text there and let's just change this to here go back select our file and hit shift a so pyuic is executed and if we run if i go to streaming all are clean and we have only the text vfx pipeline so this is it for this video at the same way you can actually follow for creating the convert icon file so and i will quickly show you my file also so go inside external tool if i go inside build icon and build icon basically i'm using PySide 2 rcc and rest is actually the same and except this is the one that you might see which is underscore rc and this name is required just when you import your file inside your python app so and also qr qrc file is something like this which you actually convert to icons.rc file if there is any confusion you can just comment below i will explain you more in more detail and you can create your own external tools to automate your workflow within PyCharm IDE. So PyCharm is really very good IDE. You can just see my previous videos where I explain a lot of other cool stuff regarding PyCharm IDE. All right, friends. So that's it for this video. I hope you understand. So please like this video and also don't forget to subscribe VFX Pipeline. All right. Thank you, friends.